What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, today we have another Primark haul and this time around, Rita Ora has collabed with Primark once again on her second collab. If you guys haven't seen my review of her first drop with Primark, I'll link it in the eye, but basically she has come out with like a spring kind of summer edit and I just can't wait to show you guys what I picked up from it. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys want to stick around, be sure to subscribe down below but if you guys want to see what cute clothing i picked up for this spring then without further ado let's get into it all right so here is my ginormous primark bag with all the goods so let's just jump straight into the first outfit all right so the very first item i have is a dress now this dress it caught my eye the second i walked into the primark store i got this in a size small and this dress was 25 pounds this is from the retora collection and as you can see it is very girly it's kind of hard to to show but it has like one strap that's almost like this lacy sort of fabric and then the other strap is kind of like a spaghetti strap it is super super cool it's got kind of like a v-neck on the front but then on the back it's sort of like a racer sort of back the whole dress is then covered with this like drapey kind of fabric that's super ruffly and cute this is really hard to show but on the front it's got like this piece that's kind of like just a drapey dangly piece that's just there for decoration nothing else this is in fact a maxi dress and it does have like a little slit on the back which is really hard to show honestly i'm just gonna have to try this on so let's go pop it on and see how it looks all right guys so here is the dress and what it looks like on i have to say i am thoroughly impressed with the fit of it when it was just hanging on the hanger i was kind of like i just don't know how the shape of it is actually gonna be but actually it's pretty cinched in in the waist it's not like super snatched to the waist like i still have some room but what i mean by fitted is that it just follows like the natural curve of your body ever so slightly that's mostly what i look for in clothing it doesn't really have to be like super super tight fitting like this but it just has to kind of show off the natural curve of the body to make it flattering in my opinion and that's what this dress definitely does i really really like the ruffle sort of detail i love these little like dangly bits it just adds to like the movement i can totally imagine wearing this out on like holiday doing a little bit of dancing not that i dance but you know what i mean i'm sure somebody would be able to like dance pretty well in this because it has a lot of movement it also has this super nice slit which is kind of like hidden when you just stand straight like that but when you pop your leg out you can definitely see it i think the color is perfect as well it's like that super light pastel pink which i think is just the definition of spring this dress definitely reminds me of like the cherry blossom season i love it so much it's super delicate in my opinion also this is what it looks like from the back i love it so much honestly i have no complaints when it comes to this dress it's not see-through it's got that really nice lining underneath making it nice and opaque so i'm giving this dress a 10 out of 10. now moving on to the next outfit we're now going to be trying out this little blazer kind of trouser co-ord again both of these are from the rita aura collection and i just love the color so much it's like a super pastely kind of yellow color which is perfect for spring and summer so first up we have the blazer as you can see it is double breasted with these gorgeous tortoise shell kind of buttons i absolutely love the lapel on it it just looks really put together and very slick this blazer is actually made from 50 percent recycled polyester and this was 32 pounds it's got quite like a boxy fit to it you can also obviously do the cuffs up like this or you can just have them all the way down i'm really surprised because the pockets are actually just sewn up it does actually have real pockets inside but you have to kind of like unpick the stitch very impressed by that because usually blazers like this do not have functioning pockets especially from primark in case you guys are wondering i got the blazer in a size six i didn't want it to be like too baggy and too oversized to go with the blazer i then also picked up the trousers of course and the trousers are stunning i love the darting sort of detail on the front it just definitely looks a lot more expensive than they were speaking of which these were only 18 pounds so affordable and these also do have real pockets right here this is what they look like from the back they just have little fake pockets in the back and as you can see they're not like too fanned out in the bottom they're pretty like straight legged so these are like the perfect cigarette kind of suit pair of trousers Trousers. I wanted to make this suit sort of outfit a little bit more cash so I picked up this little white ribbed top which is also from the Rita Ora collection it's kind of giving skims I really really like the shape of this top like it's just a simple top but it looks like it's gonna be pretty well fitted to the body this was only seven pounds so affordable and this is in size six to eight so let's go try this outfit on together and see how it all looks okay this suit set is honestly perfection I've just cuffed the sleeves and 
I feel like it makes it look a little bit more cash. I love the fit of the blazer. It's honestly perfect. It's like boxy, but still quite like narrow and snatched. It doesn't make me look super wide, even though it's quite oversized. So yeah, I'm really, really liking it. It's also the perfect length to also wear as like a blazer dress. I feel like it would be quite short, but maybe if you put some shorts underneath, it would be okay. As for the trousers, here is what they look like. They are so cute. I love the color. It just makes me think of like vanilla ice cream, having that in the spring. Honestly, this color is just chef's kiss. Really, really liking it. And you guys know I'm not really one to wear color, but this is as like colorful as it gets for me. I can do pastels, but just not really bright colors. So yeah, the trousers are perfect. They're like the perfect length. They kind of hit the ankle. And the little tank top underneath is honestly amazing. Like it's really, really thick in fabric, which I'm liking. I really like the little sleeve. It's very like adhering to the arm. It's not too baggy. I just feel like it really completes this outfit, even though it's such a like simple basic piece. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this outfit, but honestly for me, the quality, the price point, everything is perfect. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Moving on to the next outfit, we now have another dress. This one is not really my personal taste, but it really did catch my eye in the store, so I thought I'm just gonna give it a try and see if I like it. It is this dress right here, and as you can see, the pattern is definitely not very me, but I really liked the shape of it. It kind of has like this cinched in sort of bun in the center and then it sort of has like these two strings that you can tie up sort of like a halter neck around your neck other than that it doesn't have any straps these are just like the little straps that hold the dress up on the hanger and yeah I really really liked the color scheme of it it kind of has elements of paisley floral I really like the fabric it's made out of even though the mesh fabric is quite see-through it does actually have like a layer of a more solid sort of under layer of the dress underneath it again it's super ruched on one side it has like this drapey sort of element to it, which I think is really cool. It's also quite like asymmetrical. So on one side, it's a lot shorter. And then on the other, it's like a full length dress. This dress was 18 pounds. I got this in a size small and I guess we'll just see what it's like. Let's go pop it on. All right, so here is the blue paisley number. I have to say, this is actually okay. I mean, the pattern in my head, I just don't normally go for things like this, but I really love the shape of this dress. And actually even the pattern, I feel like I could get on board with. It's just not what I normally sort of buy. Take me as an example. Sometimes you just have to try something on, even if you don't think you're gonna like it, just try Try it on because you never know. Again, I feel like this would make such an amazing like little summer holiday kind of dress. I know I'm already thinking about summer. This is supposed to be a spring haul. But to be honest, when spring finally gets a little bit warmer in the UK, I feel like you could totally wear stuff like this, but with like a blazer over the top. I love like the ruching effect of this. It just makes like the tummy area so much more flattering. I really, really like the neckline as well. And to be honest, the bust of the dress is staying up all on its own. So yeah, this is what it looks like from the front as well well as the back. I love it. It's so flattering. Like I said, it has that like asymmetrical kind of vibe to it. So this side is a lot shorter and then this side is kind of like a maxi dress. You would never know. Again, this dress has like a lot of movement to it because of like these little frilly sort of segments. Rita Ora knows what she is doing, you guys. I feel like she has come up with such like innovative designs that I normally don't really see from Primark. Everything is fitted nicely, it all looks good, so I'm giving this one probably like an eight out of 10. Okay, the next outfit could possibly be my favorite outfit of this video, mainly because of the color. The color is just so spring appropriate. I absolutely love this pastel pink. Rita Ora is bringing the goods, you guys. Look at this little combo. Firstly, we have the skirt. I am obsessed with this like chunky belt kind of detail. Detail. It kind of drapes a little bit lower than the waist, which I think is really cool as well. Underneath the belt, you can also see that it has this like fold over kind of effect. So the skirt itself is kind of like a wrap style. It's got the tiny little slit on one side and I just love it so much. This skirt was 16 pounds. I got this in a size eight. They didn't have a size six, which I'm a little bit gutted about. So hopefully this will fit, but the color is perfect. I just hope it's gonna be snatched in the waist. We then have the matching blazer. There was actually quite a few different like blazer sets that she brought out. I'm pretty sure there was like a brown one as well, but for spring, I thought that these sort of colors would be the best. This blazer I got in an extra small. It was 
34 pounds and honestly I've seen blazers like this in other stores I actually own some from other stores and they definitely were not this cheap like the quality is actually pretty good considering how cheap this is for a blazer like that I really like the structure of this blazer it's got the shoulder pads in the shoulders and yeah it's like that boxy style which I think is really trendy does it have real pockets are they just stitched up let's see oh yeah they are just stitched up you can open them up no problem that is amazing also I only just noticed this but on the inside of the pocket the fabric is actually lined with like the Rita Ora logo that is really cool that's such a nice touch oh my gosh it's also on the inside of the blazer like all over I've only just noticed that now next to the blazer and the skirt there was also a little bit of an accessory so of course I needed to pick it up as well because it just went so well with the color look at this it is like perfect this is the perfect bag to wear with this all pink outfit this bag was 10 pounds it is really really nice it's made of like a satin kind of texture it's very like reflective it's got like a sheen to it but not too much I really like the shape of it I think it looks very cool it looks quite spacious inside as well so yeah really good find I guess let's try this whole outfit on and see how it looks all right so here we are here is the pink outfit honestly I love like the cut and the color of the whole thing the blazer definitely it looks really really nice it's super oversized which might not be everybody's cup of tea but personally I do really like it I feel like again this blazer would look great as like a blazer dress it actually does seem to be long enough for that this is what it looks like done up and honestly I really like it it's so like boxy the bag also complements the whole look perfectly I'm just so in love with the color the one downside that I have is that the skirt does not really fit me I knew it from the start that it probably wouldn't because this is a size 8 and I feel like Primark has recently really like messed up their sizing I used to always be a size 8 in most of their clothing but like a year ago everything changed like I can fit like a size 4 to 6 now which is crazy and I've definitely not lost any weight or anything so I just feel like it's something to do with Primark sizing but yeah this skirt is a little bit too like wide in the waist I feel like if you want to wear it like maybe a bit more high-waisted it should be maybe about here and that would mean I have this much room whereas if I have it a little bit lower like maybe sort of waist height it fits a little bit better but it still it doesn't look great to be honest I think it's just down to the sizing I think if I got this in a size 6 it probably would have fit better having said that though I do really like the style of it like this belted segment is just so a killer it kind of makes me think of like Bratz dolls if you guys haven't seen that video where I tried out the Bratz doll collection in collaboration with Opoly definitely check it out I'll link it right there it's kind of crazy that this is giving more Bratz and this is not the Bratz collab but yeah let me know what you guys think of this outfit I just love how girly and pastel it is. The blazer is perfect. The skirt could have done with a little bit more snatching, but that's just down to sizing. So overall, I'm gonna give this outfit probably like a solid nine. All right, and now the very last outfit is a little bit more like casual for every day, that kind of thing. So first up, we're gonna start out with these denim jeans. I love these so much because they are like super extremely baggy. I mean, look how wide they are. They look pretty fitted in the waist, but then they just get so like like wide in the leg. They also have like a really subtle rip on the knee, nothing too crazy. These are a size, oh no. I thought these were a size six. These actually are a size 12. No, I was cheated. It was on a hanger with the number six, but I didn't check the label and these are actually a size 12. So they're definitely not gonna fit me. I'll still try them on and maybe just like cinch them in the waist just to give you guys an idea. But if I like these, I'm definitely gonna go back and exchange these for my actual size. So yeah, that's what they look like on the front. And then that's what they look like on the back. Oh, I'm so gutted I picked these up in the wrong size. To go with the jeans, I also picked up this little little white sort of racer tank top is that what it's called it's really really simple it's kind of got like a distressed sort of seam to it it's just made of like that ribbed sort of fabric I felt like these kind of basics are perfect for like layering up for spring this was only six pounds so so cheap and this is made of 95% cotton from the Primark sustainable cotton program I feel like tops like this are always a must for loads of different outfits so that's great and now the very last item to complete this outfit Outfit is actually not from a Rita Ora range, it's just Primark on its own, but I couldn't leave this coat behind when I saw it. It's like a MAC sort of trench coat, 
but it's really, really short. It's like a short version of it. So I felt like this was a little bit more wearable for every day. I don't love wearing super long coats all the time. And now that we're transitioning into spring, I feel like a lightweight coat like this is just perfect. I love the color so much. The buttons are really cute as well. It's like double breasted. This was 32 pounds and I got this in a small. I feel like this outfit together is like that very simple New York model of duty kind of vibes. So let's go try it on and see how it fits. And this is the last outfit. I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. Not because of like the quality or anything, but it's just the fit of things. I obviously got the wrong size in the jeans, so that's my bad. I tried to snatch it as much as I could in the waist, and I feel like it actually looks all right. The legs are so freaking wide though. It's like something I'm not really used to. But because of these like loose baggy trousers always being quite on trend lately, I thought I would give it a go, and honestly, I don't know if I can pull it off. I just feel like it's swallowing me whole. It also could be down to the fact that I obviously got the wrong size. These are a 12, whereas normally I'd be like a size six to eight. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Do you think these are like way too baggy or are they okay? The thing I'm mostly a little bit disappointed about is actually the tank top. I don't think it fits that great. This is actually my size and it seems to have like a lot of like rippling around the armpits, which I don't really love. So that's like the whole base of the outfit just completely off like I just feel like this does not look good on me the only thing that's kind of saving it is the coat itself I absolutely love the coat and there's nothing wrong with it in fact I think this is gonna be my go-to spring kind of coat just for running errands going shopping and stuff like that because lately I've been wearing my like super thick winter coat and I feel like I'm just getting a bit too hot for it now so yeah this is what it looks like open as well as a done up I really really love the way it looks done up actually obviously it then also has the little belt which you can just sort of see around the waist like so. I just feel like it looks so expensive. It's giving Burberry vibes. I'm definitely keeping the coat, but I feel like the jeans and the top are going back. All right, guys, so that was all for today's Primark X Ritora collab haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which one of these outfits was your favorite as always. I feel like my personal favorite was definitely the pink cohort. It's just giving all the spring vibes. If you guys wanna see any more Primark videos in the future, definitely smash that huge thumbs up down below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I would love to have you here but that is all from me thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next one bye Mwah.